Welcome to our education channel. So from this chapter onwards, next four topics we'll discuss about the divisions. Okay, so base method of division by one digit divisor is a topic here. We are using the base method. Generally, this base method we already applied in multiplications, right? Same concept, but in different pattern. We'll use even for divisions. To do the divisions, very simple. You will uh, you can use this method. So let us start with one digit divisor. Then followed by two digit, three digit, and more. We'll see it. And here is a small pattern you suppose to remember. First, you have to choose which is the base, and dividend, quotient, remainder, divisor, and difference. Let me take one example and I'll explain how to do this. Generally, we will divide. Uh, we will divide the dividend into two parts. So the RHS will contains as many digits as the number of zeros in the base. Okay. So if you take example, get clear idea. For example. The question is divide 23 by 9. Let us start with easy sums. Then you can get concept clearly. Then you apply any number of questions. We need to divide this 23 by 9. So 9 is base as 10 because 9 is close to the power of 10 is 10 to the power 1. So here is this is the base 10 problem because all one digit divisors no. So 9 is a single digit divisor. So in this chapter, only start with only single digit divisor. So one digit divisor, your base is the 10. So this is the base. Next to divisor. So divisor is 9. And difference. For this divisor and base, how much difference you need to know. Let us take 1 is the difference. Right? Compared to the base 10, how much difference with this 9? So you just remember, this is calculated in mind. We can write this number 1. Next, we need to take the 23. Account the method RHS will contain as many digits as the number of zeros. So, base 10, so 1, 0. So, you can take it as RHS is 1, then remaining. That's why you can make into two parts. Dividend should be LHS and RHS. RHS is number of digits as many zeros in the base, right? 23. Now, to do calculation of this, Okay, so observe here. Any number is given. First, we no need to see about the 9 now. 9 is over. Only the thing, the difference. Difference is 1. First step, this 2 as it is, we should write, take it as down. 2, you can take it as down as it is. Take this 2 and multiply this difference number. 2 times 1. So take this 2 and multiply with this uh, 1. Take this 2, just multiply with 1 and write this right side number, right side place. 2 times 1 is 2. This is all calculated in mind, not even writing on the paper, just to show the pattern I am writing. First 2 as it is, 2 times 1 is 2, then you can add this right side number. 3 plus 2 is 5. That's all. So 2 is the quotient place, 5 is the remainder place. So quotient is equals to 2 and remainder is equals to 5. Is the pattern dividend this left side is quotient and right side is remainder let us take one more example okay for example 31 divided by let's take same 9 so immediately this is the base 10 so you can take number 1 right no need of writing all this just to take it as 1 now 31 right 3 and 1 this is the base 10 problem so 1 0 that means right side only one digit. And then what is the first step? Just you have to take this three as it is. Three as it is down. Three times this uh, difference number. Only difference. Quotient. Okay, this down value and multiply with one. Three times one is three. Add this one plus three is four. Right. So three is the quotient and remainder is the four. Decimals division are not doing. Only finding the quotient and remainder in this. Only with one digit divisor, no, that's why I'm giving some examples more. Uh, let us take one more example. Let's take 44 divided by 9. So, immediately according to the base, which one you should divide? So, with what number you should divide? That is the base is 10. According to this, base is 10. Difference between the base and this divisor is 1. And take this 44, just to take a line. Then here is 4 is as it is, right? And 4 times 1 is 4. You can add 
4 plus 4 is 8. Yes. So this is the quotient and this is the remainder. 4 is the quotient and 8 is the remainder. Same way. Let us take 8 also. One. Now 31 divided by 8. Previous one is 31 divided by 9. No? Is 8. If it is 8, difference is 2. Okay. This uh, account the base, this 8. Base number minus 8. 8 is close to the 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 we can take and take this 3 1 31 put a line until you uh, remember the method you can just draw a line that we can do it very fast so this is the difference now take this 3 as it is 3 times 2 6 1 plus 6 is 7 okay so 3 is the remainder this is the quotient and 7 is the remainder in case if you get the remainder more than the number for example take one question take 42 divided by 8 so divide 42 by 8 is the problem and 2 is the difference okay compared to the base 10 8 10 minus 8 is 2 then take 4 and 2 just to take one line account the method we need to take this 4 as it is down 4 times 2 is 8 now 8 plus 2 is 10 but in remainder we are getting more than this 8 so in this case just calculate in mind how many 8s are there in 10 so only 1 8 plus extra 2 this is a 1 8 now that 1 8 should be added to this that means plus 1 so 5 and this is 2 so 5 is the quotient and remainder is 2 in case this side if you get more than this divisor how many numbers are there that you can add to this and remain you can take other side not only two digit let us take the three digit number for example 123 the question is divide 123 by 9 so 9 is no so difference is 1 right now in this uh, 123 account the method right side rhs side only number of zeros in the base base 10 one zero so one digit should be rhs then same method you can apply just to take this 12 down as it is 12 times 1 is 12 3 plus 12 is 15 okay. now we can observe this we should divide with 9 so in 15 how many nines are there so 1 9 1 9 it is plus more 6 so 1 9 you should add to this number so 13 and 6 so 13 is the quotient and 6 is the remainder so because this concept is only for single digit no so you can apply first you need to practice the problems only with single divisor one digit divisor then we'll go for the two digit three digit and more